Hi, I'm Melissa Scalia. Welcome to another edition of the MMA Big Show. I'm here on location at Team Vision for a very special interview with Roger Bowling. Relentless Roger Bowling gets his name from his vicious and his strategic fights in the cage. He has managed to shock the MMA world with his quick defeats of top opponents. And I'm the lucky girl that gets to be hanging out with him today. Coming up next, Roger Bowling. Roger Bowling, thank you so much for joining us here at Team Vision MMA. We really appreciate it. Now, looking at your record, you're 5-0, you're undefeated, and it's astonishing to look at these fights. Each and every one of them you won in the first round, and four out of the five were by knockout. Did you ever foresee this much success in mixed martial arts fighting? I, uh... I didn't really see myself being, you know, as successful as I am because I don't really like to take easy fights. My pro debut was against Chris Runge, who was nine and three, and then to win the belt, I was originally supposed to fight Keith Montana, and it ended up getting changed up to Mike Skiba, who was a tough guy from New York. And then I fought Shamar Bailey, who was eight and zero. You know, it was a really good win for me. He's ranked like 120 in the world. And then I fought Seth Bozinski, who was an IFL Bodog vet, 10-4, and four, ranked 70 in the world. I'm really happy to be at this point in my career with the wins that I've got. It's just coming from a good team, strong camp, and yeah, so I'm really happy. How did you enter the world of mixed martial arts fighting? Did you know from when you were a young child? Did it come later? Did someone influence you? Just... I always knew I was going to be a fighter just because I was a short kid coming up. Always getting into two or three fights a year in school. Kind of had a good name for myself growing up. Kind of always wanted to be the tough guy. Um, I uh, came into mixed martial arts. I had some amateur boxing I done really well at. I knocked a couple people out and it got me hooked. And then I started taking Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, got with the fight team, and here I am. So. Well, we're glad you're here. And now, why don't we all check out Roger Bowling's MMA Big Show debut in June, where he demonstrates how to knock out your opponent in round one. Check it out. First, the fighter to my left, fighting out of the blue corner. He represents D-Town, B-Town, and Oriental Arts. From Davenport, Iowa, he stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 167 and a half pounds, Chris Ruthless Rungi Rungi! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, he stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, from Amelia, Ohio, representing Team G-Force, Roger Bowling! Your referee for this fight is Mr. Kevin Kelly. Okay, Rob, here we go with the big fight coming up. A lot of people's ready to see this. Roger Bowling making his pro debut at 4-1. Chris Rung, Davenport, Iowa, 9-3. Roger Bowling's an extremely explosive local fighter. Very strong, very talented. Fights out of Team G-Force. And I don't, wouldn't you agree, Rob, to say he's a very well-rounded fighter? Very well-rounded fighter. Highly explosive. Nice high kick, and there's a straight. Ooh. There's a straight, driving that shoulder down into him with a slam. He's got him up against the fence, trying to pound him. A yeah, very fast-paced fight. Looks like Rogers in uh, side mount a little bit, trying to pass to get the full mount. I think he's just wanting to pound, Rob. Watch out for those up kicks. Absolutely, he's he's got to be careful that. As we saw with the Dan Mundy fight, it just takes one little mistake to lose a fight that you're in control of. Now, Rob, when you're when you're when you're coaching and in a corner of people like Rich and big fights, Rich Franklin, UFC, what can a corner man like yourself say in this kind of situation? Well, you know what? It depends on the on the fighter. Some guys really are capable of listening and hearing you and making the adjustments. Some guys aren't. Uh, 
it really varies from fighter to fighter. Yeah, obviously you want to try to tell them things that are gonna that are help better their position, whether it be on the ground or or stand up. Well, we're a bit of a north-south position here. Rogers on top. Uh, you know, you'd like to think that he's going to try to pass and get around. You got it. He's sitting on the face here, and, and we could see uh, a possible knee bar or ankle lock out of this. Oh, uh, full mail. This could be bad, Rob. Rogers so strong. Very hard to defend yourself against him in this position. A great wrestler and just got a great base and... You can see what's key is he's staying busy, right, Rob? Absolutely. That will wear your opponent out yeah, if you just he, stay he busy. Is. He's out cold. Yeah, he's His out. opponent's out go. cold. Nice finish. Nice finish. Very good win for Roger Bowling. Good show of sportsmanship there. I mean, Absolutely. Roger I was really did a good job of getting on top. And not freaking out, which you see a lot of young fighters do. They'll get on top, and when they get position, they don't take the time to get settled in. They overreact. He, he, picked, he picked the shots very, very well. Very well. Very, very impressive pro debut, I got to say. Absolutely. Roger Bowling also, I talked to him the other night, and he's just recently dropped to 170 pounds, which I think is a much better weight for him. Yeah, I think I agree with you on that. He's a big 170-pounder. Make sure you stick around for more of relentless Roger Bowling's fights with the MMA Big Show. Welcome back to the MMA Big Show. I hope you enjoyed the clip of Roger Bowling's MMA Big Show debut. Now, Roger, we were talking a little bit about your training. What are some of the key components to your training to get you ready for fight day? Well, it just depends stylistically who I'm fighting. You know, whereas Rungi, I didn't know a lot about, so I just want to fill him out, see where the fight went. I caught him with a couple good kicks, uh, a couple good punches, and took him down and ended up finishing him that way. But, uh, yeah, it just depends who I'm fighting. So I base it all off of my opponent. I want to take him where I know that I'm going to win. So, Are there specific things that you do to gain strength and a couple other specific things that you do to be able to last for a fight? Yeah, my conditioning is a big part of my training because I'm so explosive. I have to be in good shape all the time. But, you know, as you can see, I've knocked people out on the ground. I've submitted people on the ground. Or I knock them out standing up. So I train. I, I like to be pretty well-rounded and, you know, definitely be steps ahead of my opponents. Well, I have to say I've been doing some training myself, believe it or not. That's right. Do you know who Mo you know Mojo Horn, don't you? Oh, yeah. Everybody knows Mojo. Melissa Scalia, a.k.a. The Tank, has been trained by Mojo Horn. And I have to uh, show you this real quick. Oh, Look really fast because it'll, don't touch it because it'll go away very quickly. But yeah, so um, if you want, maybe later I'll show you a couple moves right. so we can get it going. Well, we're going to work on that. And in the meantime, check out another MMA Big Show win by Roger Bowling. Another quick win in round one. Rob, you've spent some time with Roger Bowling. Uh, what are his strengths? Uh, good stand-up, very, very strong, explosive, fast, very athletic, good ground game. He's pretty well-rounded for this stage of his career. Needs, polish, needs polishing on, on all of his little areas, but he's very good, he's explosive, he's very athletic, he's extremely strong, he's smart. Uh, tenacious, man, hard guy to deal with. You better be on your A-game. When you get a guy on the ground, watch him. This is what you need to be doing with him. He's not wasting time. Rogers going in there with a lot of aggression, just dropping those right. fists. Paul has Roger and butterfly guard. Which up against a cage is definitely smart. And you can see Rogers working. He's working to break his arms free. He's got over Paul has overhooks. He's pulling the head down. And Roger just keeps busy and keeps working. He's working on passing guard with his legs, working on pulling his head out, working on pulling his arms out. He's busy.
Exactly. He needs to break the hands. Roger needs to break the hands loose and create some upper body separation here. If he pulled his leg up and threw it and could post it on, on, his, on Paul's stomach, it would help him do that. Be careful of the up kicks. Roger, one of the guys from uh, Team Vision that actually just passed uh, the first interview up in Chicago for the next season of The Ultimate Fighter. And he's going to Las Vegas for the second interview. I think he'll do very well. I think he'll do great on that show, very well. Roger seems very cool and calm. He seems very poised, even though when he's not... Uh not getting a lot of offensive going on. He's just waiting for the right move right now. Mm -hmm. And he's waiting for Paul to make a mistake. Picking his shots. Nice little knees to the face, the head. It shows a lot of maturity for hip. a guy as young as he is. You said before in his, in his fighting career. He's very smart. He's very smart. Roger took six or eight months completely off from fighting and worked on his technique, his stand-up technique, his ground technique, which is very smart. A lot of guys at this sport, the lower levels, they rush into being pro and want to get fights and... They end up getting themselves a built-up record off of fighting guys who can't fight that well, and and their skill levels down. Roger's got to be a little careful here. He's got He's in the guillotine. And I'll tell you what. He's hard to see where he from this camera angle, but I think he's okay. Can't tell if his arms through here. It doesn't look like he's got it. I don't think he's got that cinched in very well. Roger's getting, he's just raining those shots see. down. Now he's yeah. got him. And that's what we were talking about earlier. And he tapped. And that's it right Where there. Roger had a guillotine choke and jumped into full guard, which cinches his lower body, adds leverage to the guillotine. Beautiful work. Nice win for Roger Bowling. Handsome Roger Bowling. the MMA Big Show. I'm Melissa Scalia, and I'm hanging out with the relentless Roger Bowling. Now, Roger, another notable win for you was the MMA Big Show's Relentless. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, that was kind of a tricky fight for me because originally I was supposed to fight a guy named Sammy Morgan. About a week before the fight, he pulled out, so I ended up fighting um, Paul Mann from uh, Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah, and I didn't really know a lot about him, so I was pretty nervous coming in. Uh, I knew he was a tough guy, and he ended up being a really tough opponent. It took me like four minutes into the first, I think, to uh, finally get the submission victory. But uh, the video didn't show it that good, but I caught him with a good right hand in the nose, and his nose broke, so that kind of broke his heart a little bit, and then the submission came a little easier. So, well, Why don't you tell us a little bit about your nine-second win? That's right, I said nine seconds in March. Yeah. That was uh, just the perfect fight for me. Training, everything was on point. Um, everything was good. We went over that fight so many times. Rod Housley predicted that back in the locker room. He's like, throw that left hand, throw that left hand, because he throws a real lazy jab, Seth does. And I used that inside leg kick to set him up for that. Angled off, stepped in, and the left hand was just there. It couldn't have been any better. Caught him right on the temple and just putting him to sleep. I think I was a little more shocked than he was. <laughs> well, if you haven't seen it already, check it out right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening, and it is for the MMA Big Show Professional Welterweight Championship. 
This fight is brought to you by Pure Romance. They put the O in romance. www.pureromance.com. And now, from the Belterra Casino and Resort, introducing first the fighter to my left. He's the challenger. He has a mixed martial arts record of 10 wins with four losses. He weighed in at 170 pounds and represents Southwest MMA from Gold Canyon, Arizona, Seth Bozinski. And now, the fighter to my right fighting out of the blue corner. He represents Team Vision from Cincinnati, Ohio, with the perfect mixed martial arts record of four wins with zero losses. He is the current MMA Big Show professional welterweight champion, relentless Roger Bowling. Hello, 170 pound MMA Big Show champion is up now Roger Bowling against Seth Bezinski. Bezinski 10-4-0. He's an IFL Bodog veteran and a Team Southwest MMA. Well, I'll tell you what, Bowling looks awful good as this fight gets underway. Yeah, Bowling looks straight, looks in shape like he's on his diet and hitting weights. Oh, he dropped him, and he's out. First punch, he hit him with a rock, and then he hit him with a left hook. And he's still out. Boy, he hit him with a left hand, and he knocked him out right now. Wow. And he connected point blank right on the left temple. They came out, touched hands, and just like that, he absolutely detonated a left hand right on the left temple. Both right through. I mean, last left right through. Give him a chance. And Bashinsky had no idea what hit him. And we're 40 seconds after he is still at. Let's see, he landed an inside leg kick early in the round. Full rush hit. He's rocked. It's the left hook and he's out. Left hook is hurt real bad. This the right hand, but he's out. And another right hand on here. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this fight at nine seconds and the holder of the fastest Shit. knockout in MMA Big Show history and still MMA Big Show professional welterweight champion, relentless Roger Foley. Welcome back to the MMA Big Show. I'm here at Vision MMA with relentless Roger Bowling. Now, Roger, you're 5-0, and and you were set to pair off with the UFC veteran, the War Machine, is that correct, on June 20th. Now, tell us what happened. His real name is John Copenhagen. Everybody calls him War Machine. I don't know why. But, no, yeah, I was scheduled to fight him, and I'm really still disappointed that I wasn't able to fight him. I broke my wrist at work. I've got a plate in here, seven screws and a couple here, make my hand a little heavier. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, I was heartbroken about that. I'm still a little upset about that. It, it'll really sink in when I'm seeing everybody else fight June 20th, and I'm not. So, so you'll be there to support your team vision? Oh, of course, always, always. Well, that's awesome. We'll look forward to seeing you there. And we'll also look forward to your fight that will be coming up in July. Um, I know that it has not been announced who you will be fighting, but is there anyone in particular that you would like to see in the cage at any time, if not then? Just anybody that wants to fight me. It doesn't matter who. I'm training the same for everybody, so I just look forward to getting back in there and uh, just being able to showcase my skills. So. Well, I've heard a lot about you being really tough, even though you had this horrible injury, and that you continued training. Is that correct? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm still training every day, um, doing what I can. So. Getting back in shape. We look forward to seeing you back in the ring. Now, we've been talking about your professional fights. You're 5-0. You're undefeated. You're a champion. Now, why don't you tell us a little something that has nothing to do with fighting? What do you think 
people out there don't know about Roger Bowling? Just that I'm, I'm a great guy. <laughs> no, uh, I like to say that. Uh, I like to think that I'm a really good dad. Um, I got a beautiful little girl, Taylor, and she's four. And uh, I just like spending time and hanging out with her. Is she a big fan of yours? Always, yeah. She When my song comes on in the car, my uh, song that I've came out to in a uh, couple of my fights, she's like, Daddy, this is your fight song. This is your song. And uh, she loves watching me. She hasn't been to any yet, but she gets a little older. I'll definitely take her there. Well, one day, and I'm sure she's already, even though she hasn't seen it, she's uh, Daddy's number one fan. Well, Roger, thank you so much for joining us today at Team Vision MMA. I'm Melissa Scalia, and this has been another episode of the MMA Big Show. Make sure you stick around. Look at him throwing punches at me. Make sure you stick around for more action. That's right, I have. Make sure you stick around for more action-packed fight cards and more training from me so I one day make the cage. We'll see you next time. We'll see you fight night, right? Fight night?